there is a little bit of an update uh, on what's going on on the uh, on the PPM 100 test stand. Um, we just looked at the PPM 25 engine. You know, it's uh, it's coming along, even though um, it's a little it'll it'll a little bit behind the schedule. And when we need to test that engine, we're gonna use this thing here. These two are actually the intended uh, propellant uh, tanks for the speaker launcher. So it is the launch. It is it's the launcher tanks we have right here. We made our test stand in such a way that the, we can actually use the flight tanks for this. And the test stand itself is coming very nicely together at this point. We've done a lot of the, let's say, the heavy pipe work. And heavy pipe work on this means like uh, propellant lines like this size here, running below uh, many of the tanks here. Uh, and then we're doing some of the accessory systems that we need. And one of the things that's just come together, which is a little bit new to this uh, to this big test stand compared to all test stand, is that we're going to have a nitrogen trickle system on board. Essentially, once the, uh, let's say we've been running an engine test, we shut down the engine, we blow the excess fuel out of the engine uh, to simply purge the, uh, the, cooling, uh, the cooling jacket of the engine because there's always a little bit of fire left inside the engine after a, an engine burn. And if that heats up the combustion chamber, it also means that it heats up the fuel that's trapped in the in the cooling jacket inside the engine, the regenerative cooling system. That makes some of that ethanol vaporize. That means it sprays into the combustion chamber, continuing to feed this, uh, this cycle here. So we could literally have a fire going on inside the engine for a while, unless we take a powerful nitrogen system and then we blast uh, the fuel side of the test stand and blow all the, uh, the the leftover fuel out of the engine, out of the fuel system. That's where we get some of these very pretty fireballs on occasion. But when we do that exercise um, and, and we make a, like a, a storm of, of droplets of fuel inside the combustion chamber, obviously there is a lot, very large opening, so that could go out the rear end of the engine but there is actually also a bunch of other small holes which goes back through the injector and off the oxygen side of the injector system. So um, we haven't seen any problems with this, but we intended to implement this nitrogen trickle system, which ensures that there's always a small but steady flow of nitrogen going out the fuel side of the injector and out the uh, oxidizer side of the injector. So just in case we have something that accidentally could go backwards through to the wrong side of the injector, the nitrogen trickle system keeps those systems clean from contaminants. So it's, uh, it's a, apparently a widely used uh, system on, on both uh, launches and, and test uh, uh, setups uh, around. So we decided, okay, it sounds like it's a very sensible idea that we keep these things from probably accidentally getting into the wrong side of the injector. If you want to see any of this hardware coming together in person, test some flown rockets, or try our space capsules on for size, come visit us. We run public tours every weekend, so just check our website for availability and book your visit. We really hope to see more of you here. So that's just a nitrogen trickle system. It will be, uh, it'll just run on 10 bars of, of nitrogen, so it'll only be active at any time where we don't have, uh, have uh, like flight pressures on any of the propellant lines. Um, so this is just one of the latest few small additions, all the, the small things we need to do in order to get this test stand ready for a, uh, for a, a very interesting engine burn. I think we're all looking very much forward to that one. The reason we're getting so close to reaching space on our speaker rocket is because all of our crowdfunding supporters. If you enjoy watching these insider videos on building a space program and you would like to become an even bigger part of it, you can help us out by going over to our website www.copsum.com and becoming a supporter with a small monthly or one-time donation. We all do this for free in our spare time, so you'd be surprised how much every little bit helps. And thank you if you feel like what we do and share is interesting.